Greetings, and welcome back to Timberborn. I'm Catherine of Sky, and today we start off with a message from Mayor Tux. As I was sipping my espresso on my second story home's balcony in Scrap Farmington, the wind almost toppled my top hat. The wind also brought the scent of progress to my nose, for my inner flaps were open. I looked over our town, and I could see it clearly being done proper. The greatest achievements of our time are even planning our warehouses. No need to blow open all of our roads up just to run a shaft through the city, for we have a place for everything. Thank you, Mayor Tux, for that insightful commentary. And now we look to other problems. We actually have an issue, which I didn't notice in the last episode, and that would be the leakage. Oh no! Help! Right, so water is leaking out this side. This is bad. I'm actually thinking that we might end up closing these completely. Those are regular dams, and they should hold water up to point, uh, 0.7. But they're not, because I think there's too much water coming through here, uh, and it's just spilling off. So we're going to adjust these down to height 1.5 and get rid of as much as we can here. Um, and just hopefully this is going to dry up, please, because there's going to be some sloshing, no doubt, but it looks like it's hurting us still. Hello? Water, evacuate. Go, go, go. All right. This is going to take a tiny bit, I think. But once this, uh, evens out, hopefully we can get this going. Okay. One of them stopped. Two of them stopped. Okay. Okay. Good. Night. Nay. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. So let's put this. Uh, okay. Thank you. It's not what we want. Dang it, game. Why? Uh, yeah. So anyway, these are way, way open. Maybe we should just go down to height zero for now and fill this place up. Let's do that. Let's fill this place up as much as possible. And then we'll close things up. But man, oh man, was that not ideal. I'm thinking I just replace that with levees, actually. I think that's what we want to do here with that. Potentially, do we actually want uh, floodgates? Probably not. I don't think we care. Um, so I think, I think the thing is just to get some levees there. This is flowing very rapidly into... Okay, that's good. We still need to allow water to get there, but right now we need to think about what we want to do right now with stuff. So, uh, right. Let's pause the game for a second. What do I want from the... Whoa. Oh, this... Stuff? Eh? Huh? Why? Oh, it's a thing. I don't know why that's that way. I didn't notice, obviously, that that's there. I think that might be... Uh, just the phantom kind of corner thing that happens on occasion. I don't think that that, maybe it doesn't leak water. Because people have said that if it's a corner thing, sometimes it has issues like that. All right. Oh, this whole area needs to be filled in. And I think with the levels of stuff here, we actually need to get some stuff going on in here. And I think last time we were looking at getting the amounts of food up in this place, which we haven't completed yet, which I definitely want to do. But I think, oh, this is going to be rough because if we do not finish this, uh, yeah, we need, we need to just fix this. Let's just fix this. Let's fix these. Yes. And I'm going to put in, uh, I think I'm going to put in levees here. Uh, I'm, I don't know if that, maybe that's not a good idea. Because what I'm thinking is, what I'm wondering is, is this area going to flood? If this flows this way and water's pushing this way downward, this water wants to go upward. Or ish, upward. Wants to is, is also a word. But also, it will only flood this, this level as well. Okay, so that's just fine. We are not worried about this in the least. We can avoid building on that terrace and it should be just fine. So let's go ahead and put in levees here as we should have done and put them on highest build priority we can. There we go. 
Okay. Okay, so that is something. Now let me go ahead and I think I forgot to reassign these after we went through all of the stuff last time. But let's go ahead and see. Ruins D, bloody da da da. And then we have six of ten. So let's go ahead and send stuff. Add a new route here. Uh, uh, here. I think this one. Is this is our food one. I think that's our food one. Okay, we want to send over carrots. Um, definitely carrots because that gives us the longer life. Bread. And. We want to do grilled potatoes. Okay. And they don't need water. I'm very sure they don't need water. Maybe just a little bit of water. <laughs> just a little bit of water for now. I think what we're going to do is replace that water with berries when the time comes. But for now, we don't need it. Okay. So that is what we have for now. And I think it might be time to put some beavers here because, okay, so we have, we have everything built. We actually have all the things built. That's good. So what I'm thinking is, um, how do we want to do this? I was thinking of having this entire thing be road for, um, yeah. So let's take this off. I'm going to delete this road and put a district gate right there. That would be here. Okay. Haven't used those in a while. And then we want to do a district gate probably there. And then one. So that one's connecting there. And we also need one here. I think maybe like somewhere here. So they can go down, operate these as well as these. They're going to be responsible for the total water extraction from this entire area. So let's just put that one there. And then we add our path here and go around. And I think we're going to be good to go. The yay is real. Okay, so let's go ahead and say none, none for here. I don't know what we're going to put in here yet. But we'll just have that available. And then let's get our pathway here. Okay, and then path can also continue underneath this thing because, yeah, we have, yeah, something because of reasons. Mm hmm. So those are already prioritized. I guess we just need some employees over here. Who, how many people do we have here in Ruins Deep? We don't have anybody to spare, apparently. <clears throat> yep, we're going to clear our throat there uh -huh, and just look a little bit better and see if we can find any volunteers who want to come over to the new colony. Wow, this is going to be... This is going to be interesting, I feel. Oh. Huh. Well, there is one thing that I did not think about yet. I guess we don't really need to connect this here that way yet. I'm going to go ahead and take off that. Because I do want people to keep on building these water, water towers here. So I think maybe... We just take off, actually maybe here. Yeah, maybe we'll do here for now because uh, we can still have beavers here in Scrap or in um, Gnowington working at these water pumps. So I think that's what we do here. In any case, we still need, where are these three unemployed beavers? Where are they? I want to find them. Hello. <laughs> okay, so Gnowington, no. Ooh. There appear to be excess citizens in Scrap Farmington. Huh. Imagine that. All right. I know where they go live. Uh, <laughs> you guys go and live elsewhere. Let's see. Do we have any issues here? No, I think we're okay. We're actually starving, I think, on planks or something. Yeah, we're actually hungry for planks here. That's a very interesting way of putting it, I guess. Um, I think... Do we want to change this? Probably. I think it would be good to change this. In fact, to give ourselves a lumber mill. So can I build a lumber mill? Maybe not. What is that? One, two, three. One, two. Oh, oh, maybe. 
Maybe. Let's see, if I delete this and that and this and that. Let's see about building a, a lumber mill in Scrap Farmington because they definitely can use the log or the planks, even if they're made slow. That's okay. They have enough people. Oh, whoops. That was where I wanted to put the gate. Okay. Rotate and go. Okay. So then let's put this on high priority as well so that they get to build that or somebody gets to build it. But in other lands, we want to send those builders over to Temporaryton. We'll go ahead and say okay. And we shall send people over. So let's see, we'll go and click this and migrate three people to Temporaryton. Migrate. I do feel like we might need another... We did turn on one breeding thing over in Gnoington. But I'm feeling like it might not be enough. And I'm feeling like we probably should set up that huge uh, happy thingy monument. Which we don't have access to just yet. Because we don't have 12,000 science points just yet. It also requires a fair amount of other production. Which we also don't have just yet. But this is beautiful. This will... Set, this will free us from the bonds of manual labor. Happy days are here again. Uh, all right, so we have one gear. I think we need to unpause this. And where is this unemployed person? Let's go and see. 20. Er, er, er. Oh, they're here. What? Whoa. Oh, yeah, because of that. Okay, that's fine. So anyway, um, they should be able to get some stuff going on here but yeah we need to how are we doing on this water level okay it still could stand to be well it's just under the surface here so the amount we're letting out is extensive but it's flowing all into this section here i'm just so afraid i'm going to hear that ticking sound in five seconds <laughs> no help okay but they are working on this so that's good that is very good Okay, so working, working, working. I wonder if I put a road, if that will increase our range of our builders. Let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah, it does. It does. It fixes some stuff. So at least they can put do some things here. That's good. That's something at least. Okay, so now this is starting to go down way low. So I'm going to go ahead and take this up to like... Uh, let's just see what that looks like. Okay, one and a half. Put it up to two. It's sloshing around a bit. Is that... Okay, so it looks like that might be the limit here. Oh, they built a thing. Hooray. And we're still building that thingy thingy over there. That's good. So... Oh, oh. Water, water. They are building quite fast, though. I'm very proud of our beavers. They're busy as beavers. Or is that busy as bees? Could be either, I guess. Let's take that down to one and a half. Oh, because we have spillage. Oh, no. Help. Help. Okay, building is lacking power. Unconnected buildings. Let's keep on going here. Mm, it also could be a thing to... Make this reservoir ha ha uh, higher, slightly higher. That's always the better idea when you're dealing with these kinds of things. Of course, uh, better to have deeper than higher. Okay, boom. So we're going to put it up to two and a half again. All right, boom. That's cool. We did things and stuff. Awesome. Okay, so let's see. These beavers are getting tons and tons of water. I'm going to go ahead and open up this pump for people to work there as well. Ah, yes. And I also want to unpause our water dumps too because I forgot about that. That's one of the things that we do annually here. Uh, I'll just do this area. Let's pause this place and the labor union hauling post. All those things. Okay, then open them up back up again. Okay, pause. 
So that should put somebody there. It did. Okay, good, good. Okay, we're going to open this one. And then... I forget how many we have here. I don't think there are that many. I think that's the only one. Okay, so let's unpause this. And... Oh, no. Oh, okay. Every game has different buttons for moving the mouse thing around. Okay, let's pause that one. Okay, and again, we're going to pause the hauling post. And... Do they have a builder's hall? I forgot. The mayor's going to kill me. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so... Let's see. Let those folks go again. And are we only having... I guess we only have uh, two farmers working here. Let's see. Okay, so what do we have in... Uh, okay, scrap metal. We have lots of wheat. We have lots of carrots and potatoes. We don't particularly need to upgrade the farming. I think we're good. I'm surprised that they haven't built these roofs yet. That's very... Oh, it's the planks. Of course it's the planks. I am curious as to what they'll build first with their wonderful planks. So now they have a plank maker. But anyway, so... All right, so all of the water dumps are open and those are going to stay open for a bit. So I don't have to micromanage it too much. But in other news, we are building this massive... Wow, this is kind of cool, isn't it? Isn't this great? This is like insanely cool looking <laughs> i love this okay time for picture time screenshot hooray right all right so there we go that was funky that was awesome <laughs> kind of kind of really awesome <laughs> uh all right so we have many things happening it looks like we are getting plenty of water here we need to get this water going on i would like to unpause this and this uh so basically we can just hurry up and pump water down to that one water pump water tank or several water tanks as it happens just to make sure that we all have enough water all over the place everywhere and this area let's see how much are is okay we have 1200 water in Gnoington we did build one new tank last time okay why we have two water dumps open or no six i am very confused right now why it says there are six oh that's why there are six it's because of these guys there are four here right four and there's two there's one here and one over here okay so there is only one in this zone which i completely forgot about for a bit okay that's good i was like wait a second how are there six is it looking globally i'm like no it can't be doing that <laughs> yes we had confusion for five seconds but it's fine okay two and a half is where we want to be there and it is still filling up quite extensively here so but water wheels still keep a working. So good. This is really good, actually. Really, really good. So I guess it's... T do we build more on this? I guess we can, we can do some. Why not? Because, I mean, why not? It seems like a good idea. So I think what we're going to do is just delete this completely. Take this off. Um, and then that means we can start planning the next course of this. So I think what we're going to do is just kind of go straight around and come back this way and go back again. Oh no. No, drought. How can you be so cruel? Oh, sad times. All right. Well, do these people have employees? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. So let's pause for a moment. We'll pause you for a moment and get water pumper people in here. Oh dear, we have too many. All right, well, that'll be fine. It'll be okay. I also think I'm going to open up this barracks for construction because I think we don't have enough people. So let's see, what are we at right now here? We are, okay, we have 40 homes and 36 beavers. So yeah, time to build some more homes for sure. But here... Oh, this is fun time, lands. Hooray. 
Okay, we start off, I think, with levies. The levies. I don't know if we'll ever need this much power, actually. But, why not? We can have a go. So, one of the things we might have an issue with is going down a notch. So I think we're just going to have these two on the same level. And just let it flow out. Because it's going to need to flow out anyway. Okay, so the wall is going to be here. And have to go this way. And we'll delete this piece. So it's easier to see a little bit this away. So two wide. Mm -hmm. This is going to be really deep with the levees here. But that's okay. Just need to make sure that we get things built. It's a lot to fill in, that's for sure. Okay, so here's this one going this away. And then this one will continue into the little the area there. Uh, all right, so if we go this away, that means we need to have a wall this way like that. That's about it, I think. And then we can take off this area here. Oh, oh, they're having a good time though, already. Look at this, this is kind of great. So how do we approach this? This is fun stuff. Okay, so we're gonna do a, I think we do a one staircase here. And then we can do, hmm. I think we do one staircase down here right now. I think that's the best option for that. And we'll do one like, like this potentially, or uh, yeah, whatever this one or that one you know what we can do we can just pause this one and let them down that way okay does this have a continuous road it does nice okay so there we go let's put a road there as well all right this is kind of great i do feel a little bit stifled by the lack of employees i'm wondering if we should get Another beaver pod working. This is this is no mean mean feat here because or no 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 light decision here because if we have too many that means we don't have enough water to survive the next droughts. So it's really important that we choose carefully here. But I think it might be a good thing to do so. Or maybe we put one here in Temporaryton. I think that might be what we want to do. So let's put a breeding pod out here. Um, where exactly? Put it maybe down there. Sure, that's actually a one one gap. So we'll put that at ten importance. And our beavers should start working on things. It looks like they did build their barrack, which is nice. Or barracks. Wait, can you say barrack? I have to look this up. Jeez, this is like three episodes in a row or something. I've talked about barracks versus barrack <laughs> and still have not looked it up. I keep forgetting. I talk about it like in the middle of an episode or something and then I just forget about it, you know? It's it's just a thing. Okay. Okay, so this is working quite well. We should have a tiny bit higher. Actually, it looks okay for there. For there. Yay. Yay, yay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, okay, that's at 1.5. That's good. I want that to be up there. But when this gets lower, we're going to have to close these a tiny bit. These are at two and a half. Okay, so that's fine. We're actually doing well. We're doing really well. And I'm really excited for when we get this dam done. And this dam is getting done. That's the most exciting part. It's like, wow, we have stuff happening here. It's pretty great. You know what? I'm going to put this temple up as well uh, to be sooner rather than later. I'm curious to see what length of drought we'll have next time. 
really curious. And I also would love to fill these guys up. Come on, folks. Fill the things. We need to fill the things. It's important. All right. And these are also not getting constructed. And I think it's... Oh, it's gears. Obviously, it's gears. Ow. Oh, I turned them all off. Jeez. I didn't even notice that they were off completely. All right. Ah, you know why I turned them off is because we didn't have enough employees and we still don't. But we can we can shut down more science. Hooray! <laughs> Yay, that makes everything better, doesn't it? Okay, so one is okay, so two of them are now running. We have three gear maker running gear makers running. We have 40 gears in the world somewhere, but we only have one here. So it looks like we're really running short on them because of our increased use of planks and other other such commodities. But life is better here. And we just need berries for this to work. What we could... Oh, no. I don't know if we need that. So, yeah. All right. Let me just send somebody to send berries. Okay. Add a new route to... Oh, do we need to set limits? I think we need to set limits. Okay. Send berries over here, please. And then I'm going to check on the limits for stuff. So berries, we want to send like... I don't know, 20 or something. Uh, sure. Logs, things, stuff. Okay, sounds good. All right. So it's quiet in Beaverland. So good. Wow, 4,000 power. It's a lot of power. We can, with that amount though, we can transfer it here as well. So what I'm thinking is maybe we want to get some power transferred into uh, Ruins Deep. That requires a tiny bit of, <laughs> of planning for sure. But yeah, a tiny bit of machinery. I think what we want to do is maybe continue uh, these things. Oh, I just had an idea. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Um, I was thinking, gosh, you know, we need to power up here and we need to build a whole line of platforms, but we don't. We could actually bring it from here and then kind of stair step it up a bit, though it's going to be a pain in this current level of stuff, I think. But what we can do is if we, let's see about this, if we take this power this way for example. And they should be able to build all of this, by the way. Let's just take this one here, that one there. And what I'm thinking is, let's carefully build this up to have some high power shafts. In fact, here can also be a high power shaft. So this one can be our first one. I basically don't want to just delete any platforms that we already have. We just want to extend our reach so this one goes here maybe we'll have like a spiraling shaft or something like that so let's see if we can just so this is going to be two buildings if we do that so maybe if it can come between those up between them that would be nice uh alternatively <laughs> um alternatively I would want it to come up here. So what we need to do is change this. This is not the right way to do stuff. We need to move that and put in... Because I want it to come on that level there. Let's get a this, that. Um, or uh, instead, that needs the high power shaft. And this one needs to be the turn. So if we move that, that... And then, and I don't know if they're going to be able to do this because this is underneath this water tower or water tank. That may not be possible. I'm going to have to see if this works. It probably, it might not work actually. I'm a bit scared about that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, power, high power shaft. Uh, hmm. I'm feeling we're running out of platforms. Nigh. Yeah, I think we're not doing 
not doing exactly what I want here. Yeah, we may have to redo this. Okay, wait, did we? We didn't start the drought yet. I'm gonna, I'm trying to like pay attention to that as well. Let's see how far we get with this power shaft because that's kind of critical. Oh, that's actually perfect. That is absolutely perfect. So here, all we need to do is put in this triple platform here. And then here we have the cross, the intersection. So yay, that works very nicely. Uh, right, so we have this stuff running on underneath. That is something that I don't know if will if it will work or not. As in, do they have to be underneath here or can we reach over? I'm almost tempted to move this a tiny bit. As in, maybe move it over two squares or something so that we can build this these platforms up from the base because I think that they probably can't reach underneath because it's already occupied by a building. All right, let's move it over two squares. Uh, okay, and then that will be, it will not be necessary then to have this kind of crazy stuff going on. All right, we will just do these thing like this. Okay, and this should be easy to, to get in the right direction. Okay. All right, there we go. So that goes straight to high power shaft. Shaft, 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 shaft. All right. Yes. No. No. Not that last one. We don't need that one. We just need the intersection there. And then here we just need the straight bits. And here we can actually make the high level thingies because why not? Now here, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this wholesale because we really, oh, whoops. Wanted to select a an area. There we go. Would be kind of nice if you had the option to like add a miniature platform in between. Like here, you could just add one in the middle that's a one height or a two height. I think that would be pretty, pretty nice. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do these at slight priority. Okay, and then I also, obviously, we need to get the road involved here. <laughs> road involved, yes. As if the road had as any choice. Of course it doesn't. No. No road choices. Um, and then, alright, let's, let's just wait for this drought to come. Gosh, I was worried and it was already paused. So that's not a worry, obviously. So what I was thinking is we could put some of the power machinery here or we could potentially put it on the other side. I think I was, oh no, the water was going to go on this side. I remember that now. It's kind of funny when you like plan things from multiple episodes, you know, through time kind of thing. All right. So at point two, let's see, point one, point one and a bit. That's when we change stuff and that little sliver gets to almost done a couple pixels okay stop and height change more height change and then i think we're going to let's see this thing is it one and a half so let's just put this at two so everything gets trapped now for two pixels, we have a little bit of flow. Okay, drought has started. 24 days, we seem to have gotten a little better roll than last time. So here we go. So there's a tiny bit of sloshing, as you can see, they're going the wrong way. That's funny. Uh, what do we got here for, yeah, we still have tons of stuff. And I guess we need to just pay attention to the amount of beavers that we have working. So right now, I guess we're waiting for what, folks? What are we waiting for? Planks? Oh, we're waiting for planks. Aye. Okay. 
Now, the other thing that we can do is maybe, do we want to put some of these beavers on duty, transferring water into these stations, or do we take our beavers and instead put them into other places? Oh, these wheels are still running. Why is that? I am so sure that I did not click out of the window that time. That is so weird. Oh, that is so bad. Oh, this thing. Nigh. Ugh. I feel like if, if you go out of the window or if some that, that there's some weirdness happens, it should just default to the last setting you actually had it at instead of going all the way to zero. That That's just so strange because I was very careful about clicking that there. We didn't even do it when we were in a hurry. That wasn't even a thing. Okay, so it looks like this barracks is... has residents. That's nice. All right, so we have 36 and 50 spaces. That's good. I guess we keep stuff open. All right, I'm going to keep the water dumps open again until we have uh, less than 20 days because I like that, that way of doing things. It allows us to keep track a little bit better. Let's go ahead and... Oh, we need to open up this lumberjack post. And it does look like these trees are not really... Well, I guess they do have harvestability. So they should be... They seem to be functioning okay, but there's still a lot to harvest, that's for sure. But maybe we can close off one of these or two. Close off a couple of these. And put more people toward other things. I feel like we're trying to do so many things without having enough employees <laughs> and it doesn't work very well. I'm going to go ahead and toss one of these things and maybe let's get another breeding pod up here. I think I think we're warranting this by now. Let's get that on high priority. And we have no power currently. So question is, do we get power through here? Do we try to put a few people here? and put a few people on water pumps or do we keep i think i think what we need to do is we just use the wood burners i think that's probably wait how many we do have enough wood we have 500 wood so that's okay let's get these working and turn off a couple of the gear machines we have no gears available but uh i think it's wiser to just yeah have one or two working instead all right so let's let everything normalize here real quick before we do anything else and figure out what we have and what we don't have we might just keep one gear maker running because they are so expensive on power compared to the lumber mills all right so what do we have now we have Water dumps are open. I, I'm like looking forward to closing those, but yeah, at the moment. Ah, yes, I need to turn these off. That's right. Yeah, most of our water pumps can be turned off right now. Uh, at least these guys definitely get turned off. Uh, what about... Oh, these folks don't have water anymore. Yeah, I think we're still delivering some, so that's good. But yeah, that's not an ideal situation. Let's see, this water tank is almost filled, so we probably can pause this one and that one. Is two enough? Probably. Probably two is enough. Now then, let's pause and, or unpause and see what we have. So what's going on here? We have, okay, 600 versus 720. I'm going to go ahead and just start. Oh, are they all started? They are all started. Okay, so we should have 800 here shortly. And then we can maybe turn on something. I guess we can turn this one on. That one is not very expensive to operate power-wise. Okay, it's the dry season. We're back again, right? <laughs> We're back in the dry season again. Yeah, so I don't know how to manage the employees for this, honestly. Because right now, all we need to do is turn on uh, four, four employees to do this. 
I wonder if one person working the water dump would would work. Hmm. You know what? Let's try it. I wonder how many you need. Let's take well maybe let's take two. If we did two. You know what? Even if we did four. Cause the water, if it gets out of here, then it will flow into there anyway. Though right now they're going to be using Okay, so they're taking this. They're going that way. Let's go in. It's at 1.5 right now. It's going to take them a while to fill that little area. But hopefully once they do that, it should start spinning. We'll try this and see if it works. Because it's a lot of free power. Well, free, huh? Beaver powered free. Oh, this is beautiful. Nice. Nice. I guess we can also maybe we put one person here could potentially take a couple of builders off though because we are doing a lot less building with stuff I feel like we've gotten a lot of it done right now let's see where are oh it's so dark I can't even see the builders hut gosh so that's fine we took a person off there and Having the whole of po post right next to a builder's post is nice, by the way. I really like that. Okay, so it looks like, okay, we're having like sporadic movements here. But it seems a little bit janky, <laughs> to say the least. I, would, I don't know if it's janky because of the height of the water here, that there's not enough pumping, or if it's because there's not enough pressure from the top. Let's try to get a different balance on this, maybe. Um, all right, let's go and pause this. Put more beavers out there. Let's see if we can get this to work. Because I feel like what's happening here is because there's no outlet, there's no flow. So I wonder if this level, this pool needs to be lower than what we currently have. As in, let the water completely drain out, at least on this second level. Let's try that actually. Let's see if that will work. Okay, so if that flows out, what's that doing? Okay, so we have a little bit of movement from the top, which is flowing downward. Okay, this one started to move because it's pulling the water out. Okay, so that seems to be fairly needed, as in to have an outlet to go somewhere. Okay, so water needs to flow downward here so it looks like we're definitely going to need more water dumpers and probably more water pumpers as well to get things moving at all i feel like two is definitely too slow so what do we do about this this is hmm Right now I'm thinking this is probably what we're going to be left with. So I'm going to go ahead and just pause all of these buildings for now. Uh, Alright, this person needs to start working again as well. Um, what else? Farming? Do we have enough food here? Mm, mostly. We could use more bread though. We have a lot of wheat and we probably need uh we probably need another mill grist mill open so let's turn that one on so that's 860 i'll go ahead and turn this one off okay that's ish yeah it's about right all right so what else have we got going on here we have Okay, that one is still working. How are we doing here? Doing well, doing well. 
how we're going here. All right, 20.8 days. So I'll wait till it's like 19 days or something, and then I'll turn off the the dumps. All right, and this, yeah, these haven't gotten finished yet either. So it's the plank problem, but at least they are making their own planks, which is kind of nice. I'm kind of wondering if I should add even more power to this area. Because uh, these people have, they have plenty of beavers. I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's well known that they have tons and tons of beavers here. Actually, we can take some people off. Wait, do we need some more wood here in this land? Yeah, we probably do. What we can do is just turn on, let's see. Let's do a, wait, why are these logs not counted? Hello? Hello? It says 180 logs inside, and yet I click this and there's 144 logs. This is confusing. Maybe we just need to empty this. Let's try to empty this and see if we can get some of our beavers out there and transferring logs into the other storage right now. And then we can do the same here. Just connect this road up. Oh, whoops, we have to delete something like that there. And connect this one and empty this one as well. There we go. Okay. All right, beavers. Oh, look at this power shaft ready to go. Check that out. That's awesome. That is awesome. Hey, all right. Now we get these going. And then we can actually add a whole bunch of lumber mills here. Of course, they won't be functional until we actually... <laughs> have power but when they are they'll be great all right not that we need them anymore mind you because we don't even have any more well we do have platforms to build that is that's not fair that's true we have we have platforms to build so now let's see if we um look at the rest of this power we do need to take this power from over here land to over here land and okay so what I would like to do, I think, is to take it this way, uh, potentially. Let's take this power. Go power, power, power. And take that one there as well. Power, 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 power. Because these are going to be more wheels connecting them. They don't strictly need a connecting shaft like this. Um until we mean to connect them but here we shall so we'll take this over i think i want to do a a thing there what do we want to do here i think we need to just connect these things via platforms but what we can do, what we can actually do, oh, I don't know if we want to do that actually. Want and can are two completely different things. Let's see, here we have the water dam there, so we have to bypass this dam anyway. I think what we want to do maybe is take uh, some stuff here. We want to do some different things here. Uh, are these people still here? They are still here. Wow, that's great. Um, do they have... They have no planks whatsoever. I was going to build an overhead plank thing, but they can't get it if they don't have the planks. So that's not good. Because I really don't want to send gears over here, but I might be forced to. I'm thinking that that might actually be necessary. Alternatively, we have... Well, there's this over here. This, that's the shortest way that we'd have to go up a fair ways and we're already invested over here. Uh, this is complicated. <laughs> Where are we going to take this? I think. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, well, what we should do is something like this. 
Um, all right, so let's go there. And oopsies, I had the right tool in my hand the whole time. And we'll put the shaft up this way. Like that. That way it's going to be easier to get stuff done. Okay, there we are. So I think we do have, we do still have, we, yeah, we have roads here. So that's good. Let's pause this one. And here's where you wish for, hmm, wish I had a way to get up there easily. Though, oh no, they can reach down from here. Oh, that's perfect. Isn't that nice? That's nice. I think that's great. Okay, so let's just take these power shafts across this area. And how are we going to do this? I don't know. This is very confusing for me. How to get across here in a good spot. Maybe here. But I'm thinking, yeah, I guess, hmm. Maybe we go up here as well, actually. Maybe we go up too. Let's see. stuff requires much planning so if we go up here what we can do first of all is we can get some stairs made so that we have the ability to go up here and get this uh, these logs the lumber from up there so if we do this we have here we have stuff here now then uh, I want to build a storage thing, maybe a industrial log pile right over here. That seems like a good idea. Maybe there. Maybe there. So we can have a staircase on top and then put in a lumberjack flag right there so that they can grab all these trees. Let's just go ahead and get this. Nope. Game. Okay, it goes very funny on occasion. Okay, there we are. Alright. And so, hopefully we can get these things organized. I feel like we need to toss a couple of people out of building. For now. Just have maybe one. And then people can work on getting those other things minimalized. And then maybe we let them take the other stuff. So I'm thinking maybe this is the best place to put this shaft. Maybe we just, oh gosh, that's already made, huh? I had this idea where we're just gonna go across, but I don't think that that's a good idea. <laughs> These got finished very quickly, gosh. Golly gee. Oh, wait, game, hello? That was weird, okay. Um, and let's just also put in these shafts. Uh, oh, oh no, we messed something up here. We did a bad, did a bad thing. All right, so this is incorrect and yeah. So this should be that, this should be straight, rotate. And then we delete this one again, and that's... Oh, well, I guess... No, we would have a, a wheel here. We would have a wheel there. Now then, uh, getting this across... Help. Thinking that maybe we just go across... Well, we need to go through the forest. We need to make sure that the forest is dead first. So I think that's something to, f to, uh, to work on in later land when we actually have uh, the ability to do so. So anyway, I think that is going to be uh, the end of this episode. Thank you so very much for joining. And if you want to talk about this game some more, please come on over to Discord. Uh, lots of friendly people are around and we love to share builds and share uh, our islands, what they all look like, because everybody's places are different. So anyway, come on over to Discord. We will welcome you there. And uh, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.